I've been working on this project quite a while. I think that there could have been times where I could have worked on it more. I think there was also an essence of I really wanted it. I really wanted to get it to him. <laughs> This is a film about my best friend. Holy crap. Boy. And I guess it was kind of the same with Angus, but... I don't know, I guess for this one, I, it's a project that while it was kind of like three years in the making with the car and everything, I think we only spent about maybe a week of production total. So that's like every single day flat out. And I'm happy with the project and I'm happy with the way it came out. I feel like I was meant to, it was meant to be a bit longer. Um, and so you learn all these things through these documentaries and through these videos that you make. Every single film you make, you learn something more. But I finished it and I recorded their reaction and yeah, he loved it. He loved it so much and um, I think so did his dad, so. 60 bucks. <laughs> 60 bucks. I thought it was one of those 60 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I saw they don't tell you about these eating scenes, you get to swallow it and eat it. In the reaction video you can actually see um, it says Motorhead on their screen. Darren goes, Motorhead? Why don't you call it Rotorhead? Because it's a rotary car. And I was like, you know what, that's so smart. <laughs> so I renamed the whole film just Rotorhead because that's kind of what it is. My favourite part of the whole process was when I came for a shooting day, I was meant to be shooting all day and <laughs> Seth and Daz chucked me under the car with them um, and helped them out and helped them finish the project. And I think being a filmmaker and being behind the scenes is all good and well because you get to capture it and everything, being the cameraman and such. But actually being in there and being a part of the project, it made it feel, I, I, I just, I felt more connected. And I guess that was really special to me that I was able to connect on that level like I actually worked on the car myself too in a sense <laughs> even if it was just holding up like this beam for like 30 minutes I've just been working on other projects here and there with this one it wasn't like New Resto and more where I um, I still I still struggle with saying that I'm so sorry I, I'm not good at Spanish but <laughs> it's not like that project where I had to, I had just the one project and I can just focus all my creative energy on that. Like I was working on multiple projects during building this one. And so I guess I kind of just put it to the side and every now and then I'd pick it up and go, oh, this is like, I need to get this out. <laughs> so I'm glad it's out now. You're seeing this months after it's done. So who knows what I'm working on right now? Like actually right now. <laughs> um, there's a couple of projects. There's a couple of projects I'm working on and they're, they're the big ones. If you haven't watched Road Ahead already, go watch Road Ahead. It was really fun and I love building this, this storyline and um, it's also really funny. <laughs> it's just, he's just a funny dude, man. <laughs> so um, yeah, go check it out. I mean, I didn't think I would have an RX-8 or my dream car until I was, dad was like, hey yo, let's go for a drive. Get a lot of this! Oh my goodness, it's Are so windy today! So windy today! I can... I can barely stand over I here! I can barely breathe! It's too much air going into my lungs!